people at home who may not be familiar, your record stands alone. 42 podiums, 22 wins, two here in Australia. But perhaps your most famous victory is in 1996 at Suzuka, a victory that secured your first Formula One World Championship. And David Hill, it wins the Japanese Grand Prix. The incredible scenes. Thanks for bringing that clip in, David. We appreciate that. <laughs> Probably don't have time to play the full race, but your, your recollections on that wonderful moment. Uh, it was a massive relief to have got the championship done. You know, there's a whole season when... Uh, you know, the pressure begins, began here actually, and uh, you know, it just is, it's a wonderful thing to complete it and it can't be taken away. That wonderful moment was called by the late great Murray Walker, and it's not the only seminal moment in your career that Murray Walker commentated. And Hill leads into the first bend. Murray. There's been a shunt. It's Hill. Murray, we're just out for a quiet pizza. Stop commentating. Hill orders a pizza hut pepperoni and cheese puff crust. And it's a pizza, Murray. And he spun, he spun his pizza through 180 degrees. Your thoughts on that moment, Damon? Was it a relief to get the pepperoni stuffed crust? It's a bit cheesy, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, look back at it now, but uh, it was, was a lot of fun. I mean, Murray's an complete legend. Well, Murray had to stop. He had a crust in his throat. But apart from that, it was a great, it was a great ad. And what I love about it is it was a bit of light-hearted fun between friends. You obviously have an enormous amount of respect for the great Murray Walker. And Hill finishes second again. Watch it, Baldy. Watch it, Baldy. Was that a little harsh? <laughs> Just want to apologise to all the <laughs> bollockly challenged people out there maybe watching and offended by that comment. It was a long time ago, Tim. Well, let's go back even further to the start of your racing career. And interestingly, you didn't start off racing cars. You started off in bikes. You actually worked as a delivery rider, which is interesting because most juniors these days come through F3, F2. You came through Uber Eats, which was a different way to go. <laughs> But is that true? You were a delivery rider. I was a dispatch rider, yeah. There wasn't pizza in that box, I can promise you. <laughs> well, you'd eaten it all because of the pepperoni stuffed crust. <laughs> Delicious stuff. You then made the transition from bikes to cars, and pretty soon you were winning races. We've got one of your first wins here. An, in an incredible victory. And I love the trophy they presented you with. Another pepperoni stuffed pizza <laughs> to take away. What a wonderful trophy that is. There's beginning to be a theme to this, isn't there? <laughs> Did they make you deliver it after the race as well? Uh, it was all gone. There was none left. There was none left. I was very hungry. There was none left. Fair enough. But being fast in a Formula One car, it's all about being comfortable in the car. You spoke about it during free practice one earlier in the day about getting the seat right, getting your seat fitting right. We've got a clip of you being fitted for your seat at Jordan. Make the basic frame. Exact measurements are taken at critical points on Damon's body. Now... What are they measuring there? What critical part of your body are they measuring there? Uh, it's bones, I think, the width uh, between the, the extremities of my hips. Was that after the pepperoni pizza or beforehand? Because that would fluctuate. That was a bit after, I think, yeah, but looking for Well, while you're racing, obviously, it means a long time away from your home in the UK and your wife, Georgie. It can be tough for families to manage without the, um, the racing driver there. Your wife, Georgie, had an interesting solution when you weren't there. She had a cardboard cutout of you that she carried everywhere. That's my personality. It's too dimensional. <laughs> Actually, two of your kids are cardboard cutouts as well, so you might want to check that cardboard cutout. Is that the secret to a happy marriage, having a cardboard cutout do the work? I thought you were going to say portability, you know, <laughs> secret. To, uh, yes, possibly. Or, you know, you know, looking after your wedding rings, things like that are important. Okay, well, I, okay. I did lose. I may have lost my wedding ring earlier in the day. I told you not to mention it. Um, <laughs> you I, told me to mention it. No. <laughs> I, I may have lost the wedding ring. Um, Chappelle, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I will find it. I, I left it somewhere safe. I will find that ring at the end. Racing's a dangerous profession. It's always TV hosting, but racing's a dangerous profession. Georgie, your lovely wife, she was concerned about the dangers on and off track all the things that could happen to him not just at the racetrack but on his way to the racetrack you know that he's in helicopters half the time and jets half the time and... if we just pause a bit <laughs> how many sandwiches do you need david i was sick of pizza by then you know i needed to change my diet don't worry about helicopter crash your main concern was indigestion I mean, not even red bull spend that much on their catering that is fantastic that's a lot of sandwiches i have it here as a report so once you finish the sandwich you then started eating the co-pilot well, so you were hungry that day getting back to racing though and gee you're raced with some incredible names over the years. Obviously, you competed with some incredible names, but you had some incredible names as teammates, I think. I think we've got to start. There's you and the late, great Ayrton Senna at Williams. You also raced with the great uh, Alain Prost and the great Sonic the Hedgehog in the middle. Who was tougher to race, Damon? Alan or Sonic? Uh, Sonic was uh, <laughs> tough not to crack, actually, you know, but... Uh, oh, we're talking of rings. Um, 
the, have you ever played Sonic the Hedgehog? I haven't. I haven't. And I want. I want. I want to bring this up, David, because your greatest teammate is this man. Colin here likes to wear a rubber mask with three-inch nails in it. Say hello, Colin. Hello. <laughs> hello. But on the weekend, he likes to go wild. Your recollections of Colin, David? I've never met that man before <laughs> in my life. That's you. Yeah, that is you. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen Colin in years. I don't know. I can explain everything. Do you keep in touch? <laughs> no, definitely not. Well, someone who was a big fan of Colin... Yeah, your wife, Georgie, she kept a cardboard <laughs> cutout of Colin everywhere she went. Thanks for um, sitting back with us, Damon, for a retrospective on your career. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Damon's going to go ring some oils and have some sandwiches. I'm going to go save my marriage, by the way. But we've got some amazing on-track action coming up. What are you looking forward to most of all this afternoon, Damon? Yeah, I want to see the cars back on track, you know, and uh, not so many red flags, and yeah. I hope the GPS works. I want to see Colin in a rubber mask on a mask singer. This is Network 10's coverage of the Formula One Australian Grand Prix. And I've got to stop because I've got a lump in my throat. Absolutely.